Welcome to the Grow Your Business Cleveland video series. Co-producing and appearing in the series, the talented GYB CLE interns. Supporting sponsors include NOAC, a regional partnership of Chambers of Commerce, New Image Media, Northeast Ohio's most recognized name in video for business. In this episode, John Kalensik, business owner, professional coach, and trainer, shares the five and a half reasons why you should include simulations in your hiring process. After the tip, we go backstage and find out why John uses comic books in his business, how a little girl's Christmas present inspired him, what he values more than his business, and more. I'm John Kalensik with Matrix Impact, and I'm the Chief Knowledge Officer. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the five and a half reasons why you should include simulations in your hiring process. Business Simulation Center, you know, simply is a place that you can bring your employees, candidates, or potential promotions to actually put them through their paces to find out if they can do what they say that they can do. Actually, there's five and a half reasons why you should include simulations in your hiring process. And the first one is a five to one ratio. Okay. And what that says is every hire costs you five times that person's annual income. You've got lost revenue. You've got bad morale, you've got time that the manager has to spend training and cleaning up messes. All of those things put together, it's a big problem. The second reason is what I call the power of proof, right? Everybody's had that interview that they've done where the person stretched their abilities or they had that person that said, oh, of course I can do that, right? What doing a simulation allows to find out if they can actually do it, if they can do what they say they can do. It allows what I call a a point-to-point -point correspondence from what they say to their actual business skill sets. The third reason is, how do they handle the debrief? Well, part of the simulation process is that after they go through the simulation, I debrief with them how they actually did. My point is this, if somebody did really good in a simulation, I wanna find out, can they handle a little bit of criticism? I wanna find out, are they thin-skinned? Are they coachable? You can find out a lot about a person when you start to critique them and start to coach them a little bit. Step four is what I call go to the video, all right? It eliminates the he said, she said. So what this does, it helps to get rid of that bias. Any type of, I feel really good about that person, but don't have anything to base it on. Now you can base it on some video evidence and share it with the people around you. It might be somebody you know that you're reporting to, or it might be somebody you can use as a teaching tool. Number five is continual development. Simulations aren't just for only hiring. Some people need work, all right? But that doesn't mean you're not gonna hire them. They might need a little work here, a little bit work there, and that's what the video tells you. It tells you what they need work and what they need help on. And number five and a half is positioning your company as the best. How do we make our company and position it as a company people want to work for? You want to make something that difficult to attain, but it's something that they're saying to themselves, holy cow, if this is that hard to get this job, this is the kind of company I want to work with. I'm only going to be working with the best. Up next, we get to know John. So what's John's secret strategy for teaching complicated business lessons? Here's a hint. He calls himself a comic book nerd. Well, what I try to do is create different characters that represent archetypes in business, meaning there are different things that we do in business that are necessary to succeed. And there are also different characters that do certain things that make us unsuccessful. So that's why I have the Best Practice League and Mob, Masters of Bad business, all right? So the idea was to have these representations in a cool kind of fun setup because I like comics. I'm one of the biggest nerds that you're ever going to find and to be able to translate that in a fun way because one of the things I've found in my in my career is people learn best when they're entertained, when they're having some fun. And by able to throw those characters in there it makes it a little more fun for them. One of the benefits of being a GYB intern is hearing the inspiring reasons people start businesses. John's story touched our hearts. Well, <laughs> All started uh, back in 1994. One of the gentlemen said, John, I want to spend some time and talk to you a little bit more. I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, what did I do wrong? What did I say? And he started to tell me how he was having a bad year, but at the end of the year, I gave him a couple ideas that allowed him to close some more business. And because he closed that business in December, he reached his yearly goal, which gave him a bonus. And because he hit that bonus, he was able to buy his daughter a bicycle that he wasn't able, going to be able to afford before. And it was kind of right there when the sun shown through the clouds and I mean I guess get goose pimples still when I tell that story and that's what I want to do. I like people getting what they want and I like being that person that can help them get what they want. It's been said that people's social media channels reflect their values. John is no exception. 
there's a phrase we, me and my wife like to call paparazzi parenting. Okay, we take pictures of our kids all the time. We put it on Facebook. It's a neat way to share, you know, with social media, putting on Facebook, put on Instagram, so different members of our family and friends can see exactly what's going on. And you know, quite frankly, what do people use social media for? They put what's important to them on social media, and there's really nothing more important to me than my family. So how did John score as a Grow Your Business Cleveland expert? We gave a thumbs up for giving great training tips, helping others, sharing paparazzi parent pictures, and being a comic book nerd. Special thanks goes to our Grow Your Business Cleveland contributing experts for supporting our mission of growing business and kickstarting careers in Northeast Ohio. So don't miss a video or an opportunity to be part of the show. Subscribe at GYBCLE.com and follow us on our social media channels. And remember, if you like it, share it.